got here nice and early to brew it in today. Somehow it's not raining here. It's raining yeah. every place else around. And this is the remnants of the tropical storm with the Empire Super Spritz. This will be race number two, originally supposed to be race number three of Speed Weeks. Danny Varon is the guy standing in front of me right now. Uh, I saw your crew yesterday. I didn't see you. You had to catch up on some work, didn't you? Yeah, we're, we're swamped with work. So I had to head home after Can-Am, get some work done, and then uh, um, then we just, just got just pulled in right now to hop back in the seat and see what we can do. Yeah, because this is probably maybe your biggest weekend of the year. Yeah, yeah, this is, uh, well, you have, um, you know, graduation weekend was last week, and now you got 4th of July, so <laughs> it's been busy. Good to be in the rental business, right? Yeah, right now, not in the uh, middle of winter, but. <laughs> There's Scott Hochul. We interviewed him yesterday. Supply Wagon Rentals is the business over in Johnstown, New York. Make sure to look them up. Uh, so, back to Brewerton. What's our history here? Well, we've been good here in the past. Um, I don't know, we've had a couple wins here. Um, good, good, solid top fives. Uh, I don't know, we've been struggle on here um with the, the the whole car this year so um we're missing it but hopefully tonight um we made a couple changes boys have been working hard so we'll see what we can do how was k&m wednesday it was all right we went forward i mean we're going forward every race but we're so what, you get eight yeah we started 14th got to eighth so it's just i don't know, we're missing it mm -hmm. and we're not as good as we usually are but uh like i said the boys are really really putting their heart into it so we're going to find it one way or another. Is there some place that we're missing that we need to be better? Is there an area you're saying, okay, this is what we've got to do? Yeah. It, we got no drive in it. Nothing. I'm get, okay. Nah, I'm just getting every, – every corner, coming out of the corner, I'm just getting passed left and right. So. Are you sliding or spinning your tires Yeah, or just spinning. I just have – Okay. I got no, no forward grip at all. So, mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Uh, we're missing it, and, and we've been all over the map already trying to figure it out. We haven't figured it out yet. So. Well, what does the book tell you? What's the conventional wisdom to do that? What's, what are you supposed to do? Uh, I don't. I got I got nobody I can bounce any ideas off of that are running the 360 with with the triple X in this area of New York. You know, I'm kind of. You're kinda on an island here. Kind of stuck on an island by myself. So that's you know I was talking to Jason today, uh, Barney and. I, I don't know, we might go a different route, try to pair up with somebody to get some, you know, bounce some ideas off of another driver and kind of, I don't know, try to get something rolling. Well, there's advantages and disadvantages to being different than everyone else, right? I mean, what, what yeah, you're it. fast, but yeah. I'm not fast. So, <laughs> so that's the reality. Yeah. That's why a lot of drivers do do something totally different. Yeah. What's the plan rest of the year? Uh, well, just, just a sprint car. We're just going to skip, okay. bounce around, um, whatever's local. Uh, what would define local? How far? Uh, I like to stay in New York. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, but we are going to Pennsylvania next week. We're going to go to Williams Grove. Oh, nice. Um, we've never been there before. What's down there? Uh, you got the URCs. Oh, okay. And you the have Ford. to change anything? Uh, I think we got to change the top wing, I think. Yeah, if that was a, that was always the main difference all, all the years was the yep. wings. I remember they used yep. to be real narrow back in the day, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, but they, they're the same. I think we got to put a flat on for them. But a what? A flat wing. Oh, what do you have a... A dish wicker on. in the back. Oh, you got a dish wing. Yep. Oh, okay. So. And no more wicker bills or no? Uh, with a with a dish, you can't run the wicker. With a flat, you can run the wicker. So okay. we'll, we'll opt for the flat wing. And what's a wing going for nowadays? 11, 12, 13? I think they're right, right around thousand bucks. Okay. Think. All right. You already have it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I got a couple. And we're gonna we're gonna bring two cars down. We're gonna run the 410 and the uh, 360 in the same night. Nice. So. I didn't know you had a 410. Yeah. Yeah. How much have you done with that? Uh, I think we only have three or four races that's on what I thought. Belt, okay so. big difference little difference or is it uh, more it's, the talent it's, you know it's it's a big difference for sure okay I mean, just the power the weight of the motor mm -hmm. you know because well, i've uh, talked to a lot of the guys who've gone from like sports better 358 to big block and they tell me yeah the power is a big difference but they say the competition level is the bigger difference is that similar in the 410 world down in pennsylvania because i would think it would be yeah they're, they're good <laughs> you know they're not pulling those spring uh, um they're very good down there so I don't know. I mean, we've never been there before, so we have no notes. It's kind of tough to yeah. go down there and run super well or pull off a win when we've never been there before. We've never turned any laps there before, mm -hmm. but uh, that's why we're going. I mean, we've already hit, I think, five races this year where we've never been. So, okay. I mean, that could be playing some into the frustration, too, of, of not running good because we have no notes to go off of. And True enough. So, But we're trying. Okay. Well, you guys know somebody with an iRacing setup? Yeah, no, I don't. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, come out of my house this week. All right. We'll get you some laps. Yeah, uh, absolutely. We'll, we'll get you at least, at least so you can understand what to expect, okay? Yeah. Good to see you, man. Again, hit the blue E down in the corner. We are less than 50 away from our goal from subscribers, so come on, guys. Hit that blue E and get us there. Good to see you, man, and maybe All I'll right. talk to you at the end of the night. Thank you, Doug.